Yo guys, what's poppin'? It's time for shopping. Back at it with another Black Ops Cold War franchise store video. This one's gonna be for December 24th. Happy holidays to anybody celebrating. Thank you guys so much for spending some time here on my channel during your holiday break or whatever it may be. But we got a ton of stuff here in the Cold War franchise store today. We got four feature bundles and we got a free bundle. So we're gonna show that free bundle first, which I'm just gonna claim right away because I want my stuff. We got Frozen Chosen, Winter Assault, Little Snowman, Jingle Bell, and Melting Bomb. So this one's pretty cool. You got a snowman with a machine gun. You got the reef filled with grenades in the background. And the snowman is also holding the grenade. I think it's pretty cool, man. And then you got the Jingle Bell. Nice and golden. Let's see if it won't. Yep, loaded in. Nice. And we have Little Snowman. I like that. And we have the Winter Assault calling card. And then we have Frozen Chosen, which is going to be for the Barrett, also known as the M82. Damn, this thing looks sick. Man, I haven't had a reaction to a blueprint like that in a while. This thing is dope. We have the Combat Recon Barrel. Honestly, I do not have this sniper leveled up, so I don't know what that barrel is going to do for you guys. Infantry Stabilizer, 9-round magazine, Airborne Elastic Wrap. That's sick. That's going to be, you know what, that is really cool of them to give us the best ADS attachment for it. That's really cool. And then you have the tactical stock. Dude, the icicles on this thing are sick. For being a free blueprint, this is 100% hands down my new favorite for the M82. Uh, I really liked the money shot one, which is in the bank heist bundle. But now that I got this, and this is the reason I hadn't bought the bank heist because this bundle leaked a while ago. I'm, I'm taking this one for sure. I'm going with this one all day long. That is sick. Definitely not even going to consider the bank heist bundle anymore because that, that is just a sick skin, man. So, moving on to the featured bundles here today. And I did want to tell you guys a little something that's going on with the Mastercraft on the AK variant here. So, if you guys don't know, this has a exclusive weapon inspect where you kind of just hold it in your hand and it zooms off a little bit and you have to hold it um, from going anywhere. Honestly, it doesn't look as good as I thought it would as it did in Warzone. So, maybe it looks better in Warzone. But it's literally a rocket, as you guys can see. And you have the thrusters in the back and you get your... Uh, Weapon specific weapon inspect. So the attachments here are going to be the 40 round speed mag, the takedown barrel, the muzzle brake, bruiser grip, and the tiger team spotlight. Now here's the problem. You cannot remove any of these attachments if you want to have that weapon exclusive inspect. If you want the inspect where it kind of zooms through the sky, you need to keep every single attachment on here or it will take the weapon inspect away. It's not a reactive camo, besides you have the little stuff on the side there that's moving, I think. Uh, like, you have BILD 68 like, that stuff's moving there on the, the little kill counter, I think is what it is. The functional kill tracker, so your kill tracker will still work, but, guys, you will not be able to do the weapon exclusive inspect if you, say, put the elastic wrap on. And that is definitely going to stop a lot of people from buying it once they know. If they don't know, then they're going to buy it, spend the $20, and then they're going to be fucked because they have no idea. So I'm warning you now that if you wanted to put a speed grip on here, you wanted to put the Spetsnaz grip on here for your foregrips, or if you wanted to go with the elastic wrap, or maybe you're not a fan of the speed mag, maybe you want a regular 30-round magazine, any changes that you make, you will not have the weapon exclusive inspect. If it was a reactive camo, it would be completely different because... The weapon would still have that reactive camo, or if you could buy camos like in Black Ops 4 and put them on any weapon, we don't have that. So, with that being said, that is my thoughts on that. I think it's a super sick blueprint, but with it not being, you know, you, you're not having that weapon inspect across all attachments, it just completely killed it for me. I don't even want it. I do like how Mastercrafts are red, though. It's a new rarity, and uh, that's pretty cool. Blast Radius is going to be for the Bullfrog. Got the muzzle brake 9, the reinforced barrel, 65 round speed mag, you don't really need that. Uh, the GRU elastic wrap, and then you have the Spetsnaz PKM stock. So, uh, very similar design, looks really good, has some decent attachments on there. This one is not going to have a weapon exclusive inspect, but uh, still some good attachments on there. And um, yeah, it's cool. We got the button, pretty cool. Steel Armada. That's that's a really nice skin for the tank. I like that. I like that a lot. Missile control. I like that. I like all this like Russian nuke and missile stuff. I really do like it. Rocket Theory. It's a pretty cool sticker. We have body count. And uh, this is just going to be a kill tracker watch. Pretty cool. Be interested to see if that is going to be um, like your ELIM 
or if it's going to be your actual kills or if it's just like in that match who knows i'm not going to play the vehicle horn since they do have a decent amount of copywritten music in this game so i'm not going to play it uh we have mistletoe meetup and this wood skin man i think it looks sick like i think this wood skin is super super sick i'm definitely considering i like it a lot to be honest with you i really do and we have white elephant which is going to be a gallo also known as a spaz 12 that's that's a pretty nice looking skin man i like this one yeah i like this one the stock is a freaking candy cane that is super sick this one's sick man i really like this one task force barrel even better tiger team spotlight nine round mag flash cone for i think it's just a flash hider and then wire stock this one's sick i really like this one uh ornament charm how much is this one 1400 man they're charging the most for the fucking best one um so yeah mistletoe meetup that one's definitely probably gonna be a cop we'll probably have to get buy some cop points uh let's see what we got here so port nova skin tactical gaw the, the cover picture kind of looked a little weird but dude this skin looks sick it reminds me of that one girl from i think it was black ops 3 zombies i think i don't know i can't remember her name it reminds me of the one girl she wore uh red and black I think it was Black Ops 3 Zombies. This is a cool skin, though. I like this one, man. We have the Dominator. Skin for the uh, Doom Buggy. And then we have Demonic Crystal. Kind of, once again, tying into some zombie stuff. So that's pretty cool, man. I actually really like that one. Like, this cover image does not do this skin justice. Like, this skin, compared to the cover image, it looks so much better. Um, Came to Slay. 800 cob points. This looks like a Pellington. It's going to be called the North Pole. It is the Pellington. All right, I, I'm not. I'm not liking this one. I'll be honest. Orange. I, I'm not a fan of the orange men. Not a fan. Field tape, cavalry lancer, vandal speed loader, sound moderator. Like, what a waste of attachments, too. This one's. This one. I'm. I'm be honest. Little Rudy. The charm is probably better than the than the blueprint. Fob friends. That's cool. Um, little Rudy. Charm's cool. North Pole blueprint. It's terrible. I don't like it. Let me know what you guys think about all the new content here today, man. One last thing before we head out today, guys. I do not have a supporter creator code yet. I don't know if I'm ever going to get one. I think Activision might have something against me because I kind of talk negatively about the skill-based matchmaking system. But if that is the case, that is perfectly fine. I'm not going anywhere. But I do ask that you definitely check out that membership option next to the subscription button. A very, very small contribution that keeps the channel nice and healthy so I can, you know, invest into some of these bundles invest into some new equipment that's going to make all of the content a lot better we're going to be getting the new elgato that came out so all the videos should be in 4k very very soon so that's going to be a major step up and uh yeah man so i'm just trying to keep the channel nice and healthy keep up in the content and keep up in the quality so make sure you guys check out that join button a very 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 small contribution can go a long way Another thing that can go a long way is you hitting that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Guys, that is all I got for you today. If you did enjoy it, man, I'm telling you, that like button, it looks real enticing. You click on it, it turns blue, looks amazing, feels good, makes the video do good. Everybody's happy. So make sure you hit that button, man. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I'm out.